There's our opening shot. <laughs> I'm really working for it in this one. Do you like violence? Welcome back to the Slip Angle. And today we're working on Project Exoset. My brother's here, supervising, being useless. Tile. Hi, America. I'm just kidding, he's not useless. He's actually very helpful. So we got our rear hub assemblies back. They have been modified. Some of you were a little upset in our bearing video that we didn't reinstall the bearings. Well, Matthew. We're gonna do that tonight. We're gonna do that tonight. But first, what should we talk about? So What's gonna, different about these We're gonna show knuckles. you our knuckles, our nickels. So we took these to our friend Derek, the defensive octopus, who does wonderful, wonderful fab work. If you guys don't know who he is, he's done Matthew's turbo manifold for his Miata. He did our fabulous uh, roll cage on Project Exoset, as well as other various things, including welding on these uh, hydro e-brake caliper tabs for our hydro e-brake setup that we're going to be putting on this. And why are we doing that, Matthew? Because we want to because do hooligan stuff. we're still in our 30s. <laughs> Almost 40s, Almost maybe our, 40s by the time we're done. Almost in our 40s. <laughs> we're still young at heart. It's mm -hmm. just like the asshole cars. Yep. It's what life is all about. <laughs> Nobody asked you. Kyle. Check out that DQM OG hoodie. Mm -hmm. We gotta get you some new updated swag. Way back. Yeah, yeah. Who makes the brackets? Oh, Zarek Fabrication. I didn't know you bought these. Yeah, I, I bought them, yeah. Matt, you did the research on that yeah. one. That's it, do you want to say anything else about yeah. them? No, they're, they're really good. I mean, they come with brackets. so I they know they're good. We've never even run them before. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. They could suck. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna... not a paid promotion. <laughs> this is not a paid promotion. So here's our new replacement bearing. We're gonna put a little grease on here, even though I don't know how much it really matters, but. Yeah, I know. Just a little bit of grease Just to get, get her started. So the only thing that you want to be uh, cognizant of is you need something to press on this without pressing out the inner race. So we scrambled around the shop tonight trying to find something suitable. Um, I didn't have any sockets that fit it quite right, but I did have a Ducati. Yeah. The one-sided swing arm tool. bolt, right? Oh, actually, this is a this is a multi tool. So the, oh. the bigger the bigger side is for the rear swing arm nut or axle bolt nut, and then this is the front. But this forty dollar, I mean, it even forty dollars, twenty something dollar. I can't remember my page. It was on Amazon. Dukaki um, axle nut tool fits the bill perfectly for this. So it fits right in the middle, and it fits the outside race, but it's still small enough to go into the hub assembly itself. So, yeah, we got lucky with that one. We really lucked out with that one. Because you have to press it further in because of the, the actual Yes, you have, to go, you have to go reset into the hub. Make so. sure that's straight. We're propping this up with some wood so we don't damage Matthew's wonderful rust bullet coating I spent job hours there. upon hours on that. I slaved over these yeah. hubs. I don't want to... I mean, I mean, I was at work when I did it, but that's okay. That's okay. Working from home, yep. thanks COVID-19. And I think I was watching Top Gear at the same time too. <laughs> All right, so we got a little... It's a little crooked. Oh, there it is, straightened out. There we go. Oh, yes. Yeah. What? I said, look at the flex. In the wood? No, on the twist. What are you talking oh. about? <laughs> That's it. That might be it. We might as well check. You know, even though Matthew wasn't filming me, I'm, I'm still flexing. No, oh, no, it's not all the way in yet. So you'll get another chance. Oh, what the? What the French? Uh. Yeah, crank this thing all the way. There it is. There it is. There's our opening shot. <laughs> I'm really working for it in this one. 
Miata. Wait, why is this? <laughs> Working for the Miatas. I love Miatas. Oh, man. Come on, you're wearing out. Get my get quicker it. way to. You gotta do one last push. It felt like it was really tight. There it is. Oh wow. That's the that noise was different, so it probably bottomed out. Hopefully, it's not too far. Before I raise this thing all the way back up, you can. Oh, that, that looks good. Success. Okay. We're in there. Let's get that. Let's get that clip on there. In my sin. There they are. Jeez. Okay. Always wear eye protection. <laughs> I'm having some deja vu quick. Put your safety squints on. Alright. What am I doing next? Now this one you press in as hard as you possibly can, right? The hub in. The hub in. The hub in. You gotta grease it. Here's our what kind of hub is this? It's a Miata hub. Can you pass? <laughs> I need one. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. Like, is this OEM? Which is it? You bought this. No, I didn't buy OEM stuff. What the? Yeah, but I got cheaper stuff. Isn't this a go kart? Kind of yeah, it's a go kart. What are we putting together here? A fun one. All right. So there's really not much to this. We're just gonna press this in now. Yep. It doesn't take much pressure, right? Uh, no, not particularly, but here's, oh, but we went, you gotta be careful when you're pressing this, right? Yep. Because you can grab the inner race of the bearing. Yep. And press the backside out a little bit, which we did. It sounds like you have experience with that. Earlier, which I really don't know how, see, it's, this is kind of like a, the dilemma is here is that if we get rid of this wood to keep this a little bit straighter, we're gonna ruin Matthew's hard work, so we don't wanna do that. So, let's just straighten it out. Is it still straightened out? Looks like it's crooked now. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Oh, boy. Now she's straight. All right. I can kind of see. It's getting close. You got about a mil. That's it. Right there. Oh, oh, good thing I got that. So these cuppies came with my Harbor Freight ball joint, universal ball joint kit. I have three different sizes. The large size is perfect. Yeah, for the seal. For our dust shield seal on the rear. So here's our new seal. We just plop in this guy right in here like so. Try to, did you grease the seal? I don't think it needs to. Did you guys grease it? No. We didn't grease it. Do we, have, do we have to grease it? I don't know. Probably. I mean, I get the bearing, but... Let's find out. I greased the first one. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, God. It's going to break. Let's see. We're about to find out. I think it'll be fine. It didn't take that much pressure to push it in. There it is. It's in. You're done. Don't tell me I'm done. You're done. I'm done when I feel like being done. You're on notice. You You're know what? Set. I take back what I said about you. That's it. And that's it. We're done. Here we go. Here's our completed hub. Oh, it doesn't spin. No does, skin. Oh my god. <laughs> ah, nice and smooth. Don't make me stop. Matthew, you, I wish you guys could have saw Matthew's face just now. He almost had a heart attack. This, this is getting weird. We're too quiet while you do that. <laughs> you gotta give the people what they want, you know? <laughs> Go. I'm just doing a little bushing and stall here. Show them. Show them. The flex. Ooh. It's painting like a suction seal. It helps. Yep. Ugh. Don't close the hole. It all oh, that's all the way in. Oh, shit. Did you get some on your shirt? Uh, oh, I hate when that happens. What shirt is Oh, it's an FCP Euro shirt. We're never allowed back at Lime Rock again. My friend Alex gave this to me. He's 
one of my customers. Can you do the honors, brother? Ooh, that didn't sound good. It's because the stud was touching the... Oh. Look, here we go, you ready? They say I don't do anything around here. Damn, I wouldn't have said that. I said you're helpful. No, and then you took it back. I said it. You gotta earn it. Look, everyone, this is how it's done. I'm gonna CP that bushing. And that's, did you really just say that? <laughs> you know, when we have to click the monetize thing and, and say no foul language. I just, CP, What? it's not foul language. What is CP? See? All Most right, that's it. <laughs> no. <laughs> so there we have our completed rear hub assemblies with our new bushings pressed in. And here, is an FD diff with That's an RC never going back differential in. <laughs> inside of it and a 4.44 ring and pinion that I can't get to mesh quite right. So, there's that. <laughs> Ty was looking the grease in the background. <laughs> <laughs> You're just so funny, Tail. <laughs> we weren't very productive tonight, were we? I mean, we got some stuff got done. Stuff done. We, we were too. It's only 10 20, the night's not over. Yeah, the oh, night's still, yeah, we yeah. can still go ride supermodels. Ooh, that's always enticing. It's, it's like 40 days. Doing work. Like, what do I do? I don't have my bike here. Doing Bro, we, we got, have to ride the we CB. We have the rentals now. The CBR. No, let me oh, yeah, at least are. ride the Yamaha. We got the actual we license plates. Let me at least take the, yeah, the R3. Yes. All right, let's go for a ride. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we'll close this out. Yep. Seacrest. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I don't know, check out our webinars on slipanglemedia.com, help support our channel, and uh, do on to others as you would, they, you would want them to do on to you. Good night. Yeah, good advice.